Hi everybody, um, not the uh, foodie video just yet, I will do that and um, a more personal video about Harriet and me but in the meantime I have found this wonderful little channel and they've got so many copyright free videos and I wasn't looking for these particular videos, but they struck a chord with me when I came across them. Um, our new Prime Minister in the UK has told us that prisons are overcrowded, which everybody knew about anyway, and that this has got to be addressed. I don't know how it's going to be addressed. This isn't a political statement. This is this is just saying a fact that they they are overcrowded, and um, it it begs the question, doesn't it, about what crimes should be um, assessed for early release, and what criminals don't deserve early release, and particularly. If they leave prison and then go out and commit similar crimes, crimes of violence, um, then the fact that they served their time for one offence doesn't, in my own opinion, doesn't preempt them from being locked behind bars or even deported for such offences as may cause, um, well, as may cause terrible injury to other people. So let's just watch what like is, is, uh, life is like in a prison and confirm to ourselves who deserves to be locked up like this. Not minor crimes, I don't think, but more heinous crimes, certainly. And for second, third, fourth offences, and for a person who may be assessed because of those offences as being a real danger to public, um, being a real danger to life and limb. And particularly when, um, you know, these offences are caught on camera. I mean, that in itself is pretty damning evidence, isn't it? Anyway, let's watch this. There's no sound to it. I don't know whether that's deliberate by the channel creator or whether it's just, um, I don't know, a, a, glim a glitch. Um in the upload but let's watch this anyway because it shows what life is like inside prison not particularly nowadays not particularly in the uk or elsewhere but it gives an overview i think you're gonna go for me No, you're not. No sound, as I say. I don't know whether this was the uh, content creator's choice or whether there was no sound on the original videos where he's taken the clips from. Nevertheless, it's pretty um, effective in showing what life could be like for certain prisoners. Notice they don't unclasp the handcuffs until the, I guess, violent, maybe, prisoner is firmly behind bars where many now roam in the streets belong. 
in many countries. Eat your stew and mind your own business. There you go, good boy. Yum yum. You got a napkin? Thought he was going to knock the door then. I was going to say it's going to be ineffective. <laughs> you can guess what he's screaming. I've done my time, now let me out. Don't think so, love. Maybe not. Nice top. Oh, I guess this is in the States, isn't it? With the orange jumpsuit, so... Um... Guantanamo Bay? I don't know. Terrible to be locked up. But terrible some crimes that are committed. With weapons other than hands and feet with weapons that's with one plunge of a trigger or a blade can certainly cost someone their life and leave them with a lifelong trauma So I wonder what you think, whether you believe, as I do, that repeated offences after the first offence that can be proven, firmly proven, either by various witnesses, charges brought against them where they're found guilty in court it doesn't warrant just a fine it doesn't warrant a slap on the wrist it warrants another prison sentence a lengthy one and or deportation if they're not um you know if they're not native to that country So young. Very sad. However big they talk, however big their teeth, they're not going to get a grasp on those um, rails, are they? That barbed wire. All the locks on the doors. All the handcuffs on the wrists. Or the ball and chain on their feet. Yep, some people belong behind bars. Some people do. Whether they did their time the first time or not, if they repeatedly offend, they belong behind bars. Or, as I say, Deported. 